welcome to my oh so glamorous home away from home for the next 10 days. This is my camper van. Uh, well, it's not my camper van, but it's a van rather that I rented through Outdoorsy. If you've never heard of Outdoorsy before, Outdoorsy is uh, basically like Airbnb for privately owned camper vans and different class sizes of RVs. You can get everything from a crazy mid 90s four wheel drive converted Ford van like like this one um, to, you know, Sprinter vans to Jeep Wranglers that have, you know, pop up tents on the top to, you know, giant RVs that will, you know, house an entire family if that's what you're looking for. I've never used Outdoorsy before, but I knew when I came on this trip to Utah that I had to have a camper van this time. And the reason I, I learned that is because last time I was here in Utah and Arizona, I you know did what I usually do, and that's you know stay in a nearby town and then get up early in the morning and you know drive to locations and then come back late at night. But I found that here in Utah that is especially difficult to do because the towns here, especially once you get below, Salt Lake City into like the Midlands and then down into the southern area of, uh, of the state, towns are just very few and far between. And it makes it extremely difficult and just time consuming to be driving around all the time, driving from, um, you know, getting up at like, you know, four in the morning so that you can get into a park and shoot it in time for blue hour and golden hour and all that. And then you're also driving back late at night after sunset, which is what I did last time I was here. Uh, when I photographed uh, White Pocket, I had to drive like an hour and a half through the desert in, in you know, pitch black, and um, which was not a lot of fun. But, you know, I, I learned a lot from that experience. And the thing that I learned is that in order to optimize your time and in order to, you know, just get out early in the morning and, you know, catch that light, uh, that is so awesome here in the American West, you know, early in the morning and then to shoot late into the evening too without, you know, having to drive around a whole lot. You have to either, you know, camp or you need something like this. And so I have this crazy uh, four wheel drive Ford camper van. And again, this thing is nuts. I mean, it's got, you know, a pretty decent size uh, bed back here. This is actually like a double sofa that you know, converts into a, into a bed, it like folds down. It's also got like a little fridge here. It's got a microwave. It's got just tons of storage everywhere. It's got LED lights all around here. It has a generator in it and it runs, uh, and it, well rather it charges up whenever the van is running. So I think I can go like two or three days off the grid in this thing and use the, uh, the uh, reserve power to be charging devices and doing uh, whatever it is I need to do and to run things like the fridge. Uh, well, I mean, we'll see. This is all just very new to me, um, but it's been a, a pretty cool experience so far. Uh, let's see, what else? Well, uh, <laughs> this next part may be a little TMI, but you know, next to the refrigerator, like one of the most important things that I have that I'm out here, and, and this is this may sound crazy, but wipes. Oh my God. I remember reading somewhere, I think it was on some blog or something, and I thought, okay, you know, sure, I'll bring some. Well, I bought some of these, and these are biodegradable uh, large wipes, and, uh, and they, apparently completely disintegrate in 28 days, which is pretty cool. Because when you're out here and there's so much dust and it's hot and it's just, it just gets gross when you're <laughs> out here for like day after day. Oh my God, these are like amazing. So I have these, I've worn this in a couple of videos now. This is my, what is this called? I think it's like a boonie hat or something. I don't know. Ugly AF without a doubt. I mean, it is not a fashion statement. Uh, another thing, this is something that I've learned from traveling. A lot of times when I've traveled, you know, you tend to pick up a lot of plastic, like plastic knives and forks and spoons and whatever. And it's, it's just a lot of plastic, right? So I got a set of bamboo uh, cutlery 
Uh, let's see, what else? iPad, yes. Um, before I left town, I downloaded uh, a bunch of things off of Netflix, you know, just so I have some stuff that I can watch when I'm, uh, you know, when I have some downtime and at night and stuff like that. I've been uh, binge watching uh, Grand Designs, I think is what it's called, uh, renovations of buildings and homes and stuff. Kindle, yes, I mean, without a doubt. Um, I'm reading a couple of things right now, so I love having this with me. I also have my Pelican case. This uh, case is what I store my uh, uh, one terabyte hard drive in and my RAV Power file hub. And this is kind of like my backup kit here. You know, every day I plug in an SD card and I back it up to the hard drive that's in here. And then when I'm done, I close it up and it's protected, it's watertight, you know, nothing's gonna happen to it. I'm a little OCD about it because, you know, I can't upload any uh, photos to the cloud or anything. So I'm, you know, if something were to go wrong, I'd be kind of screwed. So I at least have one backup and that backup is protected in this. For emergency purposes, I also have one of these and this is a portable solar charger. You can just throw this thing out in the sun. It has two USB ports on the bottom and uh, you can plug in a phone, you can plug in, you know, whatever you have. Uh, gum, candy, anything. I mean, like, good God, you need something. Other details, I had planned on uh, brewing coffee when I was out here, and then I just realized what a pain it was going to be, and I just didn't want to deal with it. So I ended up just buying a bunch of cold brew coffee, and, um, and this is great because I can just, you know, drink it quickly in the morning and then get up and, you know, get out and do what I need to do. I have so many things which have to be charged. I have this camera that I'm filming on right now. I have a drone. I have uh, two other uh, cameras that have to be charged. iPhone, iPad, uh, my SD card backup thing. I mean, it's crazy. I mean, it's just so much stuff to, you know, always be topping off and making sure that you have enough power for. So one of the things that I brought on this trip that I've been using a lot is this uh, Bestec uh, 300 watt power inverter. It's pretty awesome because I mean, this you just plug right into a cigarette lighter. And on the back, back here, you have, uh, you know, like two DC outlets and two USB ports as well. I can, you know, plug this into the dash and when the engine is running, I can be, you know, charging uh, drone batteries because if you have like a DJI Mavic uh, or an Air or something, you you probably are aware of how much of a pain it is to be charging the batteries on those things because you can't just charge them over USB. You have to have some kind of outlet like this, or you have to use um, a uh, like like plugging straight into a uh, a cigarette lighter. And those things all require adapters. Like DJI does not provide you. All they provide you with is just like a regular wall plug. So you need something like this in order to keep your uh, drone battery charged, drone batteries charged. So every time I'm driving, I just plug this thing in, plug in the inverter, and then I'm swapping things in and out to keep things charged. Oh yes, and one more thing, uh, as a Canon user, um, this has always driven me crazy. If anyone watching this also uses Canon cameras, you probably know what I'm talking about. And that is the fact that you can't charge Canon uh, batteries over USB. Uh, at least, I, I think that's the case with pretty much all of their cameras. I mean, I have an M50, I have a Canon 6D Mark II, and a Canon 5D Mark IV. And all of those batteries come with just standard wall outlet uh, plugs, which just sucks. I mean, it makes it so hard to travel with and charge when you're on the road. So what I've had to do is, you know, get something like this. And this is a, um, a dual USB charger for uh, batteries for my Canon M50. And then I have a separate one around here somewhere that's also a micro USB uh, for the batteries on the 6D and the Canon 5D Mark IV. Oh, and this, oh my God, before I left town, I bought one of these. And this was just like one of these like weird late night things that I bought. And um, I, I found this on Amazon. This is just an entire book. Of, it's an atlas of, you know, pretty much all of, of Utah. And, you know, I, I bought this thing again. I think I bought this late at night or something. And I was like, well, you know, maybe I'll use it, you know, just in case, you know, if anything were to go wrong or, um, you know, it'd be good to at least have some kind of paper 
you know, backups, you know, in case my phone isn't working or whatever. Well, I have to say, I have used this over and over and over again. And it's awesome because it's large. It has, you know, just huge maps in it. I'm able to look up all kinds of uh, back roads on here. You know, typically, you know, information that you would have to go to like a, a visitor center or a ranger station or, you know, something in a park. Um, with this, it's all here and it's great because it actually highlights on here, you know, what type of land um, the land is. And that's important here in Utah because there's everything from, you know, like national park land to state park land to BLM land. And on BLM land, you can be, uh, you can park and you can camp overnight. There's no problem doing so. You just carry out whatever you carry in. And on BLM land, you can fly a drone too. You cannot fly a drone in national parks in the United States, but in BLM land, you can. So it's kind of a, a weird little quirky thing, but BLM land is just, it's an important thing to know about uh, because not only does it dictate where you can spend the night a lot of times, but it also, um, you know, influences where you can also be flying your drone as well if you are interested in doing that. All right, so that's it for the for the van and for uh, some of the different things that I've brought with me on this trip. Uh, it's time to hit the road. I need to charge some stuff. I gotta go get uh, a couple of things at the grocery store and then I am on my way. Thank you.